When Temple student Allie Watkins joined the school's crew team, she knew she'd be working in one of the most celebrated venues in rowing history. What she didn't know was the Owl's less than ideal conditions on the banks of the Schuylkill. Both the men's and women's team, that's almost that's at least 80 athletes, are functioning out of one ten. Um, most of our equipment, a lot of our equipment, is on a trailer outside, susceptible to the elements. Watkins and her teammates won't see improvement anytime soon. Temple recently withdrew its controversial proposal to build a new boathouse on the protected green space near Strawberry Mansion Bridge. This is the area of land that Temple University proposed building its 23,000 square foot boathouse on. But according to a city park ordinance passed in 2011, the university needed to provide or pay for park space in order to replace it, something they simply couldn't do. The Philadelphia Parks Authority will continue to defend the Open Land Ordinance of 2011. However, it does say that they are open to the possibility of renovating the East Park Canoe House, Temple's old home that was condemned in 2008. I don't think anyone questions whether or not we deserve a boathouse. Everyone sees the conditions and I think we deserve a boathouse. It's just a matter of going through this, this process right now. I mean it is what it is and we're going to work as hard as we can to help the university circumvent this red tape that the Parks and Recreation Commission has put up but we're also going to keep working hard and doing what we know how to do. Temple has released a statement saying that they will continue to work with city officials and park officials to find the university rowing team a more permanent home. Reporting in Fairmount Park, I'm Breland Moore, TVNR News.